Hey everybody, welcome back to vlog number three in the new ongoing series here on the Brixie YouTube channel. It's Sunday. It's fun day. Uh, yeah, we did some cool stuff today. I'll show you. Actually, somebody commented this and I love the idea. So recently I redid all of the shelving here and we've got some open space. And we're going to be filling that open space with things such as the Dreamliner, also the B-Wing. And I'm going to be building this in about six minutes, so I should probably not be doing this, but oh well. Now, I was looking for a way to fill some white void space, in particular next to the SIG Tower, as the skyscrapers are now on the shelves. And somebody commented, why don't you put the Orthanc Tower there? Saruman. So I did. Doesn't that look good? It fills that space just perfectly. And that actually used to be in a very awkward spot right over here. It was behind the Star Wars... Imperial shuttle, so it didn't really make sense And it looks really good as it now fills in that void space I've still got to figure out how to fill some more void space in particular Down there by Big Ben and also where the crane is Still thinking about selling that crane. I don't know though. It's pretty cool I just unpacked a bunch of fan mail and got some pretty cool stuff this painting right here is really cool, and I'm going to hang that here in the Lego room. Yeah, I know. I got that. I, I got a Pikachu. And we got this stuff here, some classic Star Wars stuff, which is pretty neat. Woo! Lego system. And then also this one here, which is the corner garage. And I'm going to, whoops, and I'm going to build the uh, alternate uh, build for this from Rebrickable.com, which is a pub actually and of course it's a modular building and we're going to start to fill in our streets here in the lego city because now we have lots of room for modular buildings whether it be alt builds custom builds etc now also brick monkey sent me her sig fig in a painting outfit and also this panel right here which will go on the fence so let's go ahead and install that because that is a cool concept there we go, her sig fig is painting her logo on the fence that goes around the train track here in the Lego city. And eventually I want all of this stuff to be graffiti and design work just like that. And eventually I'll convert it to being double sided just like this here. Pretty neat concept, I'm stoked. Grab a handy dandy command strip and we'll hang that on this art wall over here. Fill it up slowly but surely. Hey, and look what just showed up some LED strip lights for our part bins. Nice little additive to the lava lamp down there. Pretty sweet. These things were like 25 bucks Canadian, 50 feet. Not bad. So today is uh, Thursday, April 8th. Actually, uh, Alberta, that's where I'm from, is going back into lockdown tomorrow. So today is essentially the last day that we can get dining. So Jose and I decided that we're gonna go to our favorite uh, breakfast restaurant, which is Rock and Robins here in Edmonton. And we just got some other errands. I gotta drop some stuff at the post office. That's probably about it for today. This place is unreal, called Rock and Robin's Diner All Day Breakfast. It's sweet. It's like a classic style diner with like stuff all over the walls and everything. It's super cool. And the food is simply incredible as well. There's just all sorts of pictures and trinkets and knickknacks and stuff everywhere. And check out this breakfast menu here. It is awesome. There's so many things that you wouldn't expect to make. I usually just get the chubby checker platter with the French toast, but there's just so many unique things. This is all breakfast on this side. And then there's a whole nother side too that has like lunch, burgers, sandwiches, wraps, all that stuff. I literally only ever get breakfast. But maybe I should explore this side of the menu. This place is like unreal though. It's for sure like one of my favorite restaurants here in town. Just like the vibe of being here is so cool. So Jose got the breakfast wrap. Woo, that looks good. I got the chubby checker French toast platter. It's essentially a bunch of meat, 
some eggs, and some delicious French toast. Some of the best French toast I've ever had, and I love French toast. Oh yeah. So I've got to drop a parcel off at Canada Post here. It's a little bricklink order. And guess what's uh, in this white building right here? Toys R Us. So we had a delicious breakfast as you saw there. Dropped our parcel off at Canada Post. And this right here is Toys R Us, so we better go check that out, eh? Also, you know what's over there? Lying in these trees? Mastermind Toys. You can't see it, but it's there. There it is, but first we're gonna go to Toys R Us. All right, it's time to see what kind of trouble we can get in today at Toys R Us. Doesn't seem like there's any deals here in the Friends and Speed Champion aisle. Even Mega Blocks, surprisingly enough, are not even on sale. What the heck, man? Then we got some superhero stuff here. Jurassic World. Technic. People really want me to get this Dom's Dodge Charger. I'm not sure if I'm gonna ever get that, though. I don't know. I, I say that the only way I'll get that is if I'm really looking for something to get and essentially my backlog is tackled so i don't think that'll ever happen hey check out this video display this is new i've never seen one of these at toys r us There's dj llama i do want to try and get some of these just for the tile pieces and also all the unique print elements uh, on both the minifigures and the tiles looks pretty sweet creator three-in-one stuff some classic stuff star wars on the end here Decent selection, not that good though. Then we got some Ninjago. We do have the new Star Wars stuff coming out here ASAP, so uh, we'll see if any of that stuff's actually on display yet or being released early at Mastermind Toys when we go there. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing jumping out at us here at uh, Toys R Us today. This is a new like adult welcome banner right over here. It's not even above the Lego department. That's right next to some cool action figures and stuff, including Emperor Palpatine's lightsaber, which is sweet. And then we're right by the uh, video game department as well. You know what I want to get? I want to try Doom. I'm an Xbox player. I think Doom would be pretty cool. And I want to get the Xbox Series X as well eventually. Maybe once that new Lego Star Wars uh, Skywalker Saga game comes out. That'd be pretty neat. And last time we were here, we actually picked up some of these Dots products for 20% off. Looks like there's no sales on right now, which is sort of disappointing. I should have bought more of this because we need to do uh, that graffiti artwork around the, uh, the train fence. But you know what? I guess I've got enough for now. I'm surprised. Usually there's uh, sales and deals here, but I guess just not today. Unfortunate. Just heading out here from Toys R Us. Check it out, man. If we search hard enough, we can get some free Lego. Quarter tiles. Look at that. They're all over the ground here. Looks like some kid uh, <laughs> spilt them all over the ground. They're in pretty rough shape, though. I'll, I guess I'll leave them on the ground. <laughs> we might have some luck with the new Star Wars stuff here at Mastermind Toys. Definitely a stellar selection here. ATST Raiders, TIE Fighters, 501st Battle Packs, Harry Potter Art, Super Mario, Avengers Helicarriers, all sorts of Ninjago stuff. Some really cool stuff along the top here. And over here we got uh, City, Friends, and all that. But uh, none of that new uh, Lego Star Wars stuff. It's not here early. That's the uh, Vader helmet, Scout Trooper helmet, and also the probe droid. No dice, no dice. I might check back in like a week or so. I got like the Imperial shuttle like five, six days early from here, and also got Grogu early too, once upon a time. So no dealios there today, but they did say that on the 23rd and 24th, it's gonna be like a Perks weekend or something like that. That's 23rd and 24th of April. And they said they might have some deals on Lego during those two days. So that's exciting. Maybe we'll be able to get some deals on something and that's 
maybe when we'll check back to see if we can get those Lego Star Wars sets a couple days early because they don't come out until April 26th. So it'd be nice to get maybe those sets for a deal a couple days early, just like I did with the Imperial Shuttle. I got bought one and I got the second one 50% off and it was a brand new set and they had it before its release date. It was a crazy good deal and like essentially unheard of. So maybe that'll be the same thing on the 23rd and 24th of April for this new Star Wars stuff. So that's, uh, that's something good that we got out of this trip so far. Jose and I got to go get a little folding chair for our office, just like a little standard folding chair from uh, Walmart. So we're going to check it out as well. No changes here at this Walmart. I guess I was here not too long ago, but we have to get a chair anyway for Jose's office. Just like a little folding chair. So I got something to sit on when I'm, I'm coaching her, I guess. It's like a $12 fold up chair, really. And then if we have guests over too, we can, you know, fit more people around the. Uh, kitchen table but there's like a couple things on sale like this helicopter thing and this car thing right here but nothing worthwhile that's for sure getting the padded kind actually pretty sweet we got mini uh, cupcakes and cookies two for six bucks or we could pick up these donuts for a buck yeah not really any luck on the uh lego shopping today at all that sort of sucks but we got those lights the other day. I've got the lava lamp going here now. I should probably put these lights on, get that all lit up. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow because it's actually pretty late now. I essentially spent my day building that right there. That's only a quarter of the Hogwarts art or the yeah Hogwarts art. It's huge. This looks pretty awesome though. I love having the lava lamp here. Just gotta remember to turn it off, but look at it. It's just giving her. Should probably install those lights relatively soon. Eh? It'll just add to the whole vibe, you know? This all lit, lit up. It's gonna look sweet. Yeah, so I was working on the Hogwarts art and Jose was working on the beach. So that's looking really great. We make a great team. Like I live stream, she works on the beach details. I, you know, just sort of both doing different things. So it really worked out uh, nicely for us. There's a little tattoo update here. It's been uh, four days. It's peeling big time, <laughs> but the bandage is uh, off now. It's looking good, and this is just the nature of tattoos, guys. They always peel like this. You lose that layer of dead skin, and you can really see it happening on the lightsaber blade. But yeah, it's looking good. Can't wait for that healing process to be done, that's for sure. So now we're getting ready to install our new fancy LED strip lights. There we go. So now we get the lava lamp lit up there. We've got our LED strip lights installed framing our part bin they can switch colors they can fade in fade out do all that stuff there now we were playing around with it we originally had it like this and then we tried to move it to the top so you just saw the glow but the problem is, is there's nothing to reflect it off and i've always got all my lights turned on so the only way you'll see the glow is if it's like dark or dim in here and it's reflecting off something so we changed it back so they're forward facing and framing our part bins but we can do that with the side here you see this part bin there's nothing to attach to because the drawers are in fact the sides so we can't attach it but if you were to like tuck that in then it would sort of glow like that because there's something for the light to reflect off i don't know if we're going to change that or not this is actually one 25 foot span of lights and the kit that i bought has two 25 foot spans of lights. The problem is, is there's only one transmitter receiver that's down here. So if I wanna add lights using the same light kit underneath the uh, the beach there to light up the deep sea area, then I have to get another transmitter. I think these things cost like 25 bucks for 50 feet, so it's not too bad. I'm not worried about buying another transmitter. And like I said earlier, we're going to, well, not earlier, but throughout this whole Brixie YouTube channel, I said eventually we're going to be adding different scenes underneath here once we get rid of all these boxes and bins and stuff, but I'd like to get a light kit for under here to make it glow blue, and that's actually how my deep sea area used to be lit with the same sort of style lighting. I don't know what I did with those transmitters. I, I can't find them, so I guess I just have to buy more. Sort of ridiculous, but it is what it is. So that's it for this vlog. Wow, it's hard to remember what we did. 
because we did so much stuff. We did a little bit of a, a shopping fail, I guess. We've upgraded our little area here by installing a lava lamp and also LED strip lights and lots of other stuff. I hope you guys like the new ongoing series of vlogs here on the Brixie YouTube channel. Remember to smash that thumbs up and also subscribe. Thanks a lot. Take care.